guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Shahira aka Afro Glory. In today's video I'm not going to do much talking because I've got lots and lots and lots of XX swatching to do. If you've been following me on Instagram you'll have seen some of these amazing swatches. Um, they are the from the brand new brand XX Revolution and yeah today I have this much stuff to get through. Lots of skin products, some foundations in there, concealers, we've got eyeshadow palettes, we've got skin stuff, there's just a lot to get through. Um, so yeah, make sure you like, share, subscribe to my channel, support your girl, and let's just get straight into it. So I have moved over to my phone and turned off the synthetic lighting, just because I feel like my phone, I'm able to zoom in and show you guys much more detail with this camera. So here I have the brand new XX Revolution concealers. These are called Conceal-X, <laughs> super fix concealers. Um, I have a shade range here, as you can see, from 12, 12.2, 12 12.5, 12 12.7, 13, and then C20, which is one of the new shades in this brand and uh, one of the deepest shades that Revolution have done so far. So here are the shades next to their boxes. Um, yeah, I personally don't think that the colour reference is that great for the product, so I would highly recommend swatching in your local um, drugstore. I would definitely recommend swatching in your local drugstore. Um, I'm actually going to do a quick comparison to Conceal and Define and Conceal and Hydrate in terms of what the shades look like as well so it's easy for you to kind of make that match if you already use revolution concealers so this is the shade c13 in natural light at the top i'm using conceal and hydrate which looks like this and then at the bottom i'm using the xx revolution c13 so for this swatch i am using the shade 12.5 and at the top i have swatched the revolution conceal and define concealer and at the bottom, I have swatched the new XX Revolution in the same shade, 12.5. And here, last but not least, I have swatched the Conceal and Define Infinite in the shade 12.7 against the XX 12.7 concealer. So I think based on my swatching that there's definitely a difference in formula with these concealers versus the new XX concealers. And I think the shade matching is actually really good. So. If you already use one of these products and you've got the shade right, I would recommend purchasing your XX concealer in the same shade that you use. So let's talk about packaging. I feel like so far with all the swatches that I've done on my Instagram and stuff, the packaging has been one of the most prominent parts of this launch. Everything looks so luxe. Everything feels really weighted and beautiful. It's definitely the kind of thing where you want a whole collection. I think if you're one of those people who don't have loads and loads of makeup as well it's kind of a great brand to just have on your shelf wherever you keep your makeup it's just a really beautiful collection to look at so yeah let's open this up and have a look at the doe foot so i've opened the product now and you can see that this foot applicator is completely different to anything you've used before it's literally in the shape of a boot which is amazing because that will get right under your eye. I have actually used one of these concealers under my eye and I can confirm that that was really smooth. It's really easy to use. It's a really great app applicator. I've never used anything like it before and I do highly recommend this concealer based on what I've used. And I have used it once and I'm a fan, not gonna lie. Let's get into swatches then so you guys can see more of the formula and how it swatches. Okay, so I've swatched all these shades in the order that I've shown you and here they are on the back of my hand. And then I've also swatched the brand new shade which is C20. What a beautiful deep rich shade that is. It's neutral, there's no red undertone in that which means that it will actually work on people whose skin tone is that colour. Um, so my thoughts so far on the formula is it's really kind of dewy when you first apply it and I can see it around the edges that it's kind of drying down to be more of a demi matte kind of finish. I really love the shade range so these are all 12s, the top um, 5 swatches are all 12s 
and you can see a lot of undertones have been covered and you can see it's gradually getting deeper as well. I can see some olive undertones in the shade 12.2 and then my go-to shade is 12.7 which is this one, the fourth one along and I'm neutral and I feel like that's really catered to even considering they're quite warm and yellow um, shades which is kind of what my skin looks like but I'm definitely neutral. So yeah, what are your thoughts on these? let me know in the comment section. Just wanted to have a quick look at what the concealer claims to do. So it claims to be crease proof, life proof, full coverage concealer, conceals and brightens skin, covering blemishes, dark circles and redness, stretchable formula with no flashback. I definitely think that from what I've seen, um, the product brightens, covers blemishes, dark circles and redness, um, and it is 100% a stretchable formula. I know that this, I haven't dipped back into the product, I've used the full flat side of the foot to apply these swatches and I only did one swipe across, there was no double dipping, there was no going over swatches, this is just one swipe. I know it's definitely a stretchable formula because I feel like that one swipe of my shade which is 12.7 I would be able to use under both of my eyes to cover any dark circles. So next up I'm going to show you guys the foundations that xx have launched so as you can see there are two finishes there's a pink box and there's a black box now the pink box is luminous and the black box is double fixed this is for hydration or more glowy dewy skin and then this one is more of your mattified kind of mattified finish so this is called the glow skin foundation luminous foundation and this one is called the liquid skin foundation double fix foundation i've matched these up um, so these are 12.5, 12.7, 13, and then I have one of the F20s that I want to show you just to show you like the deeper shade in the range. So before I dive into swatching, let's just quickly have a look at the packaging. Again, very luxe. You've got this frosted kind of glass finish on both of the foundations, which is really nice. You've got the logo just on one side there, so it's not xx on every single side and then on top you've also got xx revolution underneath you've got a few more details about the product and you can find the shade range there another thing to note about these is that they are all pumps which is really great for anyone who is specifically concerned about hygiene with their foundation it's great to have a pump just so you know that it's not being touched by anything until you're ready to use it so i've just done one pump and as you can see this is how much product you get with one pump that was the first pump that came out so i might just do another one to see if you get any more so yeah you can see you roughly get about the same amount of product every time you pump which is really great to know um i like wearing my foundation quite sheer and i prefer luminous foundations so i'll probably be more a fan of the pink one but yeah it's good to know that i have more control over how much product i'm bringing out because obviously we don't like to waste you can already see that this is a very luminous finish just from pumping it out look at the reflection of the light on this foundation it's really nice so first i have swatched the glow skin foundation the luminous foundation finish um these are the shades this is 12.5 12.7 and f13 so you can see the foundation is very luminous it's very glowy i feel like this would be really nice with a um, brush. It's got a really like gentle smell to it as well, which is really nice. It smells quite lovely. Yeah, I would say overall, I would personally reach for this kind of formula. You can see as it's drying around the edges, it's still quite a luminous finish. But yeah, that's what this looks like. Let's have a swatch of the Double Fix foundation. So I've now applied three more swatches using the um, Double Fix foundation. As you can see, it's drying already. There's definitely a texture difference. Again, it smells really nice, but you can definitely see that this is drying around the edges. So I would definitely say this is more for anyone with oilier skin. And then this one is for anyone who likes to keep their skin quite hydrated, but have full coverage. I think the coverage is amazing on these as well. You can see that, I mean, I have a beauty spot right there underneath this swatch and you can't see it at all, so. I'm going to go ahead and say that the coverage is incredible. Yeah, I think the shades are very well matched as well. If you know your shade in Revolution for foundation already, I would say 
stick to the shades that you know. So as you can see here, I have three of the primers uh, that are coming out for XX Revolution. Hydro Quench Bomb, 70% Water and Aloe. And then we have Cloud Complexion, <laughs> Soft Touch Primer. And then we also have H2 Glow Bomb, which is 70% Water and Aloe. So this is what the packaging looks like. Again, really looks packaging, frosted glass on this one. And then this one has um, more of a plasticky lid, but still a frosted glass finish. Let's have a look at the product. So this is what the product looks like when you take the lid off. The lid has this kind of watery textured effect on it, which is kind of nice. And then it is sealed here for the product's protection. And this is what the actual product looks like inside. It kind of looks empty, but the product is right there. And it's got this really unusual but fun texture to it. So this is the, the Hydro Quench Bomb. And you can see it, it's quite runny. It moves. Yeah, let's have a look at that on the back of the hand. I've just put that on the back of my hand as I would with any other primer and rubbed it in and you can see it's left my skin looking very hydrated. It feels really hydrating as well and it smells really nice. I feel like this will be a good primer. Let me just check how tacky it is. So it is a very tacky primer. I actually think I could probably pick a box up with the tackiness of this primer. So if you have struggled with primers in the past and found them not tacky enough, then I think you would really love this one. Again, the Cloud Complexion um, Soft Touch Primer has the lid when it comes off, has this kind of really cute iridescent kind of glow on it, which is nice. And then it is sealed again for the product protection. And then the texture of this one is more of a cream. It's kind of like, you can tell it's a very like mattifying kind of cream. It doesn't run like the other one did. It looks very interesting. Let's have a look at that on the back of my hand. So I've put that on the back of my hand and I've also wiped my hand from the previous primer. Um, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this it's kind of got some shimmery flecks in there, which is kind of nice. Um, I see what it means by soft touch primer. It is very, very light. Um, it does feel a bit like I'm not wearing, like I. I imagine on my face it would feel like I wasn't wearing anything. Let's check how tacky it is. So you can see it's not as tacky as the previous one because I can't pick the box up, but it's definitely, it definitely feels really, really nice on the skin, really gentle, and it smells amazing. And last but not least, this is H2 Glow. I've seen this all over Instagram already. Everyone who's received this product has posted it because it is very pretty so the lid is the same as the first one it's got that kind of textured water effect on it you can see this product has got shimmer in it it is very pretty and it's got that kind of runny liquidy consistency again i guess that's got a lot to do with the fact that it's got the 70 percent water and aloe in i imagine this one's going to be sticky as well because aloe vera is quite a sticky plant so pretty very similar to the first one in, in the sense that it's kind of like that putty kind of heals itself texture so i've rubbed that into the back of my hand and as i would have if it was on my face and you can see there's much more kind of shimmer in this one i feel like that kind of adds to the whole h2 glow concept it feels really nice, really light, smells incredible. Let's see how tacky this one is. Again, we've got a very tacky primer, so good for anyone who likes that. These are the um, Duochrome Pigment Pots. Um, I have six different colours here, and you can see already these are going to be promising. So the packaging, again, is very luxe. Um, it feels uh, very collectible and cute and yeah i feel like xx have done a really good job with the packaging and um, this is plastic and so is this and when you open the component it comes with this seal so i've taken the seal off and turned it upside down and just given it a few taps on the back of my hand and this is what the product looks like when it first comes out it's just like kind of a powdery product that you can work with i feel like tapping it into the lid or onto something to then use a brush or your fingers with it is probably better because it's a very small component so i've just patted that with my finger rather than smearing it or anything and this is what the product looks like 
It is so pretty. And you can see the kind of duochrome when it hits the light, kind of turns this darker shade of green and then out of the light, it's more of a lime green. And now I have used my finger to kind of smear the shade around in small circular motions as I would if it was on my skin, on my face. And you can see there's more of like a gold color in there now as well as the deeper green and the lime green. These are absolutely stunning. This one is in the shade Switch. Okay, so the last two things I'm gonna be swatching for you in this video are these shadow palettes. Now, these are massive. That's my hand on one palette and it's huge. So this is the Explosion palette and this is the Extravaganza palette. Both cute, very beautiful packaging. Let's get inside. Let's start in Explosion. Inside of this one, as you can see, we have a very nude palette. There are 66 shades in here. I am not going to be swatching this palette because this is the palette that a lot of people received in their PR packages so if you follow any of the influencers who have received the PR package I'm sure you've seen looks, swatches, YouTube videos featuring this palette. There are some absolutely stunning shades in here, infinite possibilities for eye looks and of course we have a black, we appreciate a good black in a shadow palette. So yeah, I mean, these middle row shades you can use as highlight. They're absolutely stunning. Okay, maybe we'll just swatch a few. So this is what they look like initially swatched. You can see they are super pigmented. And um, this palette is cruelty free and vegan as well. So win-win. These are beautiful. Now, this is the palette that I am most, most excited about. Look at that. What more could you want from a palette? We've got pinks, reds, orange, green, deeper greens, like turquoisey blue, blue, purple, and then you've got your nudes down the side. So, I mean, it's literally got everything that you need. And then we've got these amazing pans in the middle. So I've just swatched this whole palette on the back of my hand. There are some stunning shades in here. 66 shades, all swatched. Look at the pigmentation as well. And then the middle pans, I've swatched them here. Can we just take a second for that black? Absolutely, look at it. Wow. I feel like this is going to be another favourite, this shade here. So pretty. And just like the richness of some of these colours is unbelievable. Again, infinite opportunities for eye looks. Every colour. Even some nudes. It's literally the perfect travel palette really good mixture of shimmers and mattes as well i can't get over this black though so good yeah we're here for it